Alright, so here we have the Pyro Drone Hyperlight Floss Series 2204-3022KV motor. Uh, quite a mouthful. Uh, so this one is an interesting motor uh, just because of the its uh, size. 2204s have not been popular ever since the 2205s came into the scene and most people forgot about these uh, 2204s. But it's good to see that they've been kind of uh, resurrected in uh, with using all these uh, modern features and high KV. So these are for a very specific purpose uh, that's been an ultralight frame flying on 4S and some light 5 inch props or maybe 4 inch props. So pretty interesting motor and as you can see it has all the latest features. So if I'm not mistaken these motors are made by Brother Javi. Uh, so as we all know, Brother Javi makes uh, really good motors, always using top-notch materials, and this is not the exception. So it's good to see uh, so many of the premium materials being used on this 2204 motor, so that, that puts it in a class by itself. The shaft, as with most uh, Brother Javi motors these days, is made out of uh, titanium alloy, and it is uh, semi-hollow, so it's only partially hollow. All the rest, the bell cap and the base casing is made out of 775 aluminum, so that's one of the stronger aluminums. So that's pretty good. So that makes it uh, quite resilient uh, in crashes and also less prone to stripping threads when you crash or when you just tighten them too much. The bearings are NSK, uh, so that's a good brand of bearings, uh, 3 millimeter by 8 by 4 millimeters, so should be uh, durable. So the shaft is retained by a circlip, kind of a paint to remove, but uh, for a 3mm shaft you can't really drill it and uh, put threads on it. There's just not enough space there. So let's put it on the scale and see what it weighs. It comes with about 175 millimeters of 20 gauge wire, so plenty long to reach any 4 in 1 ESCs. So let's see what it weighs. So that's 23.4 with that much wire and if we cut them to 50 millimeters then we would get rid of uh, that much wire. So that's quite a lot of wire actually, almost, almost 3 grams. So tear that and so with 50 millimeters of wire the motor weighs in at about 20 and a half gram, 20.6 grams. So pretty light. So this motor comes in uh, three different KV versions, 2522, 2722, and 3022 KV. This 3022 KV, they actually on the web on the Pyrodrone website, they recommend uh, a four inch prop. So I tested it with five inch prop just to see how it do. It will probably be okay on those two blade five inch props, but any larger than those, you might be overheating the motor. You need to go to a lower KV. Maybe the 2722 or the 2522. So let's uh, pull this apart and uh, let's check it out on the magnifying glass just to have a closer look. All right, so here's the stator, and as you can see, typical Brother Hobby construction on the motor. Really nice uh, windings and top notch materials there. A single strung wire, and the bearings are 3 by 8 by 4 NSK bearings. So really good quality so let's measure this stator height should be four millimeters so there we go pretty much pretty much four millimeters and those are 0.2 millimeter uh, laminations so overall very nicely made motor there's the stator so titanium shaft should be quite strong and the uh, arc magnets all around. Very well constructed motor. Should run very smooth. So we'll put it together and get it on the thrust stand.
All right, let's look at the Hyperlite 2204, 3022 KV motor uh, thrust results. The motor came in at 3050 KV, so pretty close to the spec KV. And because of that high KV for a 2204, I went ahead and tested on 3S and 4S. And actually this time I tested quite a lot of uh, props, more than usual. The guy that donated the motor also sent me a whole bunch of props to test and asked me if I could run them. So I put them through the thrust test. Uh, some of these props I had tested before, like the 5038 and the 5050, uh, but on different motors. So I hadn't tested them on, on this motor. And the thing with this 5038 with Racecraft and the Gen Fan Flash props is that uh, their design doesn't really do well on static thrust, but we all know that they do fly fairly fast when you, you know, as you fly and the prop is unloaded. This design of prop is actually made for performing best when flying forward. So that's one of the things to keep in mind. That's why this will always show low thrust on the thrust end. So it doesn't really translate well into actual flight, but in reality, you know, they do perform quite well. I started with the four inch props. Of course, this uh, 4045, it's not a prop that you would uh, match with this motor. Uh, it's just too small, I think. With the four inch uh, tri-blades, the motor starts to wake up and uh, getting close to one kilogram. These props are a better match on 4S. And then we move on to the five inch two blade props and even better at 1200 grams. This one I did put a warning here be just because I noticed the amps were kind of climbing a bit and the motor did get a little bit hotter than usual, you know, than what I like to see on thrust stand. But in the air, it might be okay. Temps could possibly remain normal, but I just thought I put this uh, warning here, you know, just make sure you check motor temps if you use this prop. So this match pretty well, actually, this uh, 50, 30, 50, 40, good thrust uh, at uh, reasonable amps. Uh, keep in mind, these are static thrusts. So this is not the amperage you're going to see in the air. Once you get flying, uh, the actual amps are going to be a lot lower, usually 40 to 35 percent lower. So still quite manageable, I think. With the HQ5043, quite a decent amount of thrust uh, at 1300. So if you recall, when we were testing the 2205s and 2206s, anytime we saw 1300 grams, that was a sign of a quite capable motor. So here we have a 2204 getting those same numbers, of course, using high KV and also the amps are gonna climb up. So that may be a little bit too much of a prop. I don't know if people are using this uh, propeller with this motor and probably run through the battery quite fast. Then I went ahead and tested a couple of other 4 inch props, the 4040 by 3 and the 4040 by 4. So basically one kilogram on the 4040 by 3 and 1100 on the 4040 by 4. Uh, quite a bit difference here though in amps. So the four blade props make the motor use more amps. So that's one prop to maybe uh, consider not using. And this one's one of the uh, new propellers that I've tested that Adam also uh, sent in. Uh, this is the Master S Crew 5045. So I thought it was interesting to compare it to uh, Genfan 5045 and the 5045BN. And as you can see, it compares pretty close, a little bit less efficient than the Gen fans. It could be a good option. The propeller is actually very well balanced. All right, uh, well, that's the test for this interesting motor, 2204 with a uh, high KV, 3022 KV. So quite a powerful motor, actually. Of course, uh, it's gonna use a lot of amps because of the, the small stator, but on uh, ultra light, could be a good match for these motors. Uh, so that's the thrust test. Uh, so once again, thanks to Adam Spurgeon, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your last name, for donating the motor and a few of these props to test. So I was wanting to test this motor for a while, but I just never got around to it. So thanks for sending it. And uh, hopefully you found the information useful. And see you guys on the next video.